brothers welcome back to territorial.io we are starting off today here in the world in a little 72 person free for all action now we did go ahead and place down our spots here early in asia but there are a lot of people around in asia i'm kind of thinking about moving elsewhere but as the rest of the map gets a little bit more populated those options are becoming less and less appealing so i'm thinking we're just going to stay where we are and just kind of see how things develop now as we get going with our start we'll zoom out see what things look like fortunately for us nobody came at the last second but we do have a very very crowded neighborhood and my kind of hope is that i can get around gluten and go to the east that would be kind of the best case scenario for us now if that's going to happen or not is going to be very dependent on how he plays and so far he is playing uh in a smart way where he's saving up his troops so i don't think we're gonna get too far over there i think we're gonna get cut off by the bots but we can always try and let's go ahead and get a little bit early of an ascend out as we do need to push through some bots grab a little bit more free land i think that'll be pretty much worth it as gluten does the smart thing and starts to cut me off from going the way i wanted to go so he figured it out rather quickly T kudos to him he uh played that one well and unfortunately for us we did not get the land that we wanted to but we're still kind of moving over there let's just keep pushing for everybody this make a wish guy is a little bit on the weaker end oh did we attack you i'm sorry i didn't mean to okay so the make a wish guy attacks me that's an interesting oh that's wonderful as we actually get a lot of land out of this that's huge for us and now we can go into earth empire as well so we do end up with a crown right away and that worked out decently well now gluten's gonna be very big on our end so we just need to keep saving up troops let's try and get some truces out with the boys and see who's gonna be a friend who's gonna be a foe i will take a truce with you wonderful so we have a truce with chile that's gonna be a great one gluten is very strong somehow we have just a little bit more land than he does in fact let's go ahead take this time and grab some of these islands maybe we can make a play off of those later maybe probably not but you know you never know you definitely want to at least have the option of doing so so chile long is going into no name that's an interesting thing or maybe i don't really want to go into no name that much but it might be worth backstabbing chile as we have much much better borders on him but i do want to make sure to have a lot of troops as chile is now going in or uh doo has gone in on chile so I think I will join in as no, no, no names also gone in. And uh, Chile looks not long for this world. There's the full send onto no name. That's going to be a really good thing get for us is now we can push into no name, grab a little bit of his land. And now we are once again, very big. We do share the top three scenario. Hello, sir. I'm going to give you a heart. I'm going to give you a thumbs up, even though you two are very weak. And honestly, it'd be better for me to go into gluten. There's no real reason for me to go into this make a wish guy as i'm not gonna get much out of it in all honesty i think it'd be much better for me to go into gluten so let's just keep saving up now although your mom over here is also very weak i think this is a really good opportunity to push into this player down here who's weaker who's a little bit on the weak side but has so much more land to grab and i think this is going to work out really well for us especially because make a wish is attacking almost blindly ignoring that gluten is also attacking him so that worked out decently well for us as we still maintain a second place scenario now Dudu is attacking us that is unfortunate but we'll just kind of have to sit and wait to see how things go prussia is the leader he's very big okay so so far we've gotten truces with two of the three i'm going to give a truce with this other king of prussia and uh i'm gonna remember that Dudu did betray us so we'll just have to see how things kind of develop from here we're just going to take a little break and uh kind of look around the world prussia is very big 550 is attacking me who is that oh it's this guy okay well that's a little bit concerning as dude who's also attacked me so we'll just keep saving up here and we'll see if we can get some boys in to attack this player as uh, i'm not going to show any weakness just quite yet but i do want to make a show of him so let's go ahead and start attacking him back he can't just keep attacking like this and not expect a counter attack and now he wants the truce so uh i'm thinking i'm gonna give another attack i don't really want a truce with him he's wanted to go into this player over here this russian empire i think now is the perfect time to strike in on this player he's already shown that we cannot be tr trust him so i think now is the time he's gone into 660 he's going into everybody at this point quite interesting so now this territorial player is also very weak and i think now we go into him and give a little bit of a oh perfect timing as we cut off this player down here, grab a little bit of land from Gluten, and now we get a giant advantage. We go back up into third place, a comfortable third place, and we could go into Gluten right now, but unfortunately for us, this uh, player here is attacking me, so that is 
Okay, you can stop. Oh, that's good for us. Let's grab all of this land too. So again, we're in a position where we're strong. We just need a little bit of time to build up. And I don't know why this guy is attacking. Oh, that's wonderful news. Okay, so that completely changes the game as now we have the crown and we are in a good position. We do have some hopefully strong alliances with these two. And this Russian Empire is getting strong. So I'm going to go into him. I do not like this guy. He was the one who kind of started the attack on me. I don't know how King of Prussia is going to do. I'm going to definitely give you a truce back. I'm going to be like, what? Yeah, we're hard. We're not we're not fighting. We're not fighting. I'm going to fight this guy. So let's just keep saving up our troops. Glute wants me to go into 669 or 699. Not really in the plans for me. I'm going to finish off Dudu as he is a bit of a nuisance to me. And he's trying to give the truce. He's like, hey, attack anybody but me. And it's just like, no, I'm good. I'm going to just keep attacking you. Start whittling you down. I do like how Gluten's going in on this black player down there. Either one of them winning or losing is going to be a good scenario for me. So I'm going to keep giving him the truce. I don't want him to attack me. He wants me to attack Gluten. I was just like, I'm busy up here doing my own thing. You guys can finish up and figure out what you're going to do over there. I think this is the smart move for me. Now, the only thing that's going to be a little bit bad is if Prussia is an enemy. But so far, he's given the, the song. Oh, there we go. There's a lot of land for us to grab. So we move up farther into first place over here. And uh, now we just need to know if this player is going to be an ally or not. Now, we could go into Gluten, but hmm, this is an interesting scenario. Let's just kind of see which one's... What is Gluten doing? Okay. So, I think I'm going to take out Gluten. I think this is the way to go. It's unfortunate for him, but I do need some land. I'm so sorry, brother. It, this is a, your natural person for me to grab. He does full send us, which is actually a big help. I'm going to give him a heart. I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, I, I, I hope you understand the strategic nature of why I had to take you out. But uh, it just kind of had to work like that. As now we're very strong, this player to the south is going to be next. I'm going to try and work my way down into this free land. So let's keep up this attack and see what we can do here. Now, we are getting to the point where we're so big that it might be detrimental for us to make too many moves. But I'm just going to keep going into it. This guy's going to be a problem down south. We are getting attacked by Paleo. I'm going to leave that one for the time being. I'm going to come back to you. Don't you worry. I will not forget about you. As he doesn't have that much land. He just has a lot of troops. So a few attacks into him would very much weaken him out. But this is about strategically aligning our borders to have less people on them. So just consolidating how many people we do share borders with. And now King of Prussia is attacking me. So... Again, things to be concerned about, but right now I feel pretty confident in just finishing up this attack. We're getting a lot of land out of it, so it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. As he's given the, oh, I don't know why you're attacking me when those two are attacking you. Again, just a little bit of a strategic maneuver as we do finish him off there. And now we move down south to grab the rest of Australia, gaining a lot more land than those guys are getting. They're having to go into a very strong defensive modifier. Now, this is unfortunate that that player over there in Antarctica was able to move his way up because we're not gonna be able to finish off that so what my plan is is to take out this player in Europe and just kind of leave this guy because I don't want to touch borders with the uh, oh that's huge for us perfect time attack and now we can go ahead and finish off Prussia just encapsulating all of Europe and Asia as these two are very slow on the mark I don't think they see it right away and now we'll finish up King of Prussia grab all of this land and now we're going to be a quite the beast to take down. This is going to be very challenging for people as we just are going to be in such a strong position. We just need a little bit of time. Fortunately for us, this guy's not exactly attacking. Let's try and get a truce with him. So, uh, oh, this is why they weren't attacking. Let's go ahead and boat down here so that we can get some of this land with uh, Prussia and kind of cut him off. So we'll just keep saving up here. This guy's got 12 million troops. He's not going to be too much of a concern. I'm going to push through the rest of Halo really quickly just so I have better borders on whatever Prussia does next. But there's the, the full send on us from Halo. And now we have great borders with Prussia, just kind of stopping his aggression. So we will go ahead and finish off Prussia next. And then we, I think, honestly, we push into this guy. Even though we just signed a truce with him, he is in a great position to save up his troops and make some damage. With this guy's, these two are fighting over here. So this is a natural uh, person for us to take out. So we're just going to send this boat down really quickly. He might not notice. And now let's begin the assault on him through Australia and Africa. If we can take out these two continents, we're going to be in a really good spot as we already have a lot of strength, but we're still in a position. I feel like we could get bullied off the board. 
especially if player 864 and the Russian zombies kind of realize what's going on and start boating over. So we're going to keep an eye on that as we continue our attack down here, just making sure to maintain a high level of troops. Now here comes some boats, so we are going to send boats back and just kind of be ready for this counterattack as Russian zombie is sending more hurt. Okay, so at least it's just Russian zombies, so that is good news. So let's go ahead and finish off this and get ready to repel this boat. As okay, he is. We're going to be fighting for boats. Yes, this is a little bit of a frustrating game. Send a boat up here. And you know what? We'll just ignore him. If he wants to have that, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and finish off this guy over here, knocking him down. Because we will have borders with him eventually. Yeah, he's attacking us. Congratulations. You're going to be literally doing nothing. We'll just repel your main attacks like this. And that's going to be the end of that. So. We'll just keep an eye up here just to kind of be able to do that. But as you can see, he lost like 3 million troops in doing that one action. There he goes. He full sends us, does nothing. So let's go ahead and boat away, boat back into him. As the red player doesn't quite notice. Now he is going to be strong, but we've already started the process of eliminating this player. So things are looking up for us as he's down to 2 million. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off, get a big attack in here. Go ahead and go into Madagascar, send another boat down. And now we're in a position where we can't lose. As we have 30,000 pixels, player 864 is going to end up with about 160,000 pixels. So it's just going to be not too not enough, not soon enough. So we did manage to do a very good job of holding off the rest of the world and just limiting our borders. Unfortunately, we had to take out some allies along the way, but everything seemed to work out for us in the fact that now we're in a great spot to win this game. As we do about 40 million trips, this guy's got about 22 million. So let's just go ahead and finish off grabbing the rest of these islands here and we'll eventually move our way over into the new world and we'll now start actually working through player 864 as he's got 10 million troops left let's go ahead and finish him off he's got 8 million we've got 15 he's got 5 4 3 and I think this next one will be enough yes okay that would be enough right there let's go ahead and reload that one more time and that should be good to knock him off the board and we can go ahead and finish off this i'm gonna leave you down here <laughs> if you survived this long hiding that's too funny okay so we'll go ahead and finish off this guy grab a lot of his land i don't know if we'll actually take him out of the game just mostly because i don't honestly want to boat into all the little tiny islands to get into this but we'll get the big ones for the screenshot grab that out of there and voila that should be enough and then we'll just kind of stop attacking get the piece out and go from there but boys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far in the video. If you have made it this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put out videos every day, but I will see you in. Hold on, we got to wait for the piece <laughs> in the next one.